The video trade recorder is really simple to use. Uh, once you install the software, you'll find the record video file under your custom indicators tree in the navigator window of MT4. The software has two basic operating modes. It's continuous recording and event-based recording. The mode is selected using the on-event variable. Continuous recording is selected by default and this simply means that the recording will start right away and will end once you remove the record video indicator from the chart or if you close the recorder status window. Both modes enable you to select the video resolution using the width and the height variables. A pre-buffer variable applies uh, to the on-event mode and is used to define the number of ticks which should be added to the beginning of the video once the event triggers. This is used to record the situation on the charts just before the trade is placed which gives you additional material for your evaluation later on. The maximum frequency setting is used to determine the lowest interval between individual video frames and the setting of 1 simply means that a video frame will be recorded no sooner than every other second. A setting of 0 will record every tick picked up by the indicator. Let's run the recording using a continuous recording mode. A status window will be displayed and now we can go on with our trading keeping the following in mind. Whenever the time frame is changed that is in continuous recording mode, the recording will be split and will continue using a new file. But if you change the template, the recording will stop because the indicator will be removed from the chart. Your recordings are stored in the files recordings folder within your MetaTrader installation folder. As you can see, the recording has been split when we change the time frame. Videos in this folder are ready to use in your trade log or can be uploaded to YouTube for later use. Now let's move on to the on-event recording type, which is accomplished by setting the on-event variable to true. This mode will only record your charts once a trade is placed and will stop recording once the trade is closed out completely. As you can see, the current status is buffering. We can set this up for a few more charts. Once we place a trade, the recording will begin. It will also record all trade modification events.
the recording will stop when the trade is closed out completely. Now we can move to our recordings folder and view our recording.